I am wondering who went through all the effort of placing all those bricks there as if attempting to make a road which is semi-drowned in the water. Uh, I could probably look it up. I'm not going to do that because it's time for a new video about cameras, not roads or bricks. In today's video I want to give you some advice on buying a camera, whether it's your first camera or you're upgrading to another camera. I just want to share some, some of my tips and tricks. It'll be entirely my opinion and along the way I'll also guide you through my camera journey just as an example to go with my tips and tricks. I'm very sorry for squeezing my eyes a little bit, it's a very bright and sunny day. There are some clouds in the background but the sun over there is just really bright. Let's start at the beginning buying your first digital camera. My first camera was uh, so, some kind of Olympus, just a small point and shoot camera with no optical zoom, just the very, very basics. And shortly after I bought one with three times optical zoom, uh, didn't really use a lot of it, just used it on, on vacations and things like that, just didn't do a lot with it. And it was around 2008, 2009, when I wanted to do more with photography and because I wasn't sure yet uh, how much I wanted to do with it and I didn't want to invest a lot of money into something that I might quit uh, sooner or later I, I bought my first bigger camera, it wasn't a DSLR yet but I bought a Nikon Coolpix P90 which at the time was a really nice camera it was slightly bigger than a point and shoot camera but the way it worked was still similar to a point and shoot camera it did offer manual settings uh, like shutter speed, ISO, but don't expect too much of it. Like I said, in the end, it was mostly just a point and shoot camera with some nice optical zoom to go along with it. What I loved about that camera back in the day was the sharp pictures that it, that it got me. I got really, really nice sharp pictures. I could get really, really close to my subjects like flowers and take some beautiful photos that way. I think it was a great camera to start with even though the manual settings weren't that impressive it's it, it was a great tool to learn the basics of photography to, to think about composition uh, what's in the frame what's not in the frame and I think that's the most important part about photography all the manual settings that definitely will improve your photo later on composition I believe is the first basic step of the photo your, your photo might be perfect in the way it's exposed with the right shutter speed the right ISO the right aperture but if the composition sucks then your entire photo sucks so starting with a very basic camera can be a really really good option in 2010 I bought my first DSLR which was uh, a Canon 450D and that brings me to my first tip don't spend too much money on your, on your first camera, only spend the amount that you can afford to spend on it. I was looking at a Nikon D90, Canon 50D, Canon 550D and I ended up with a cheaper model, a Canon 450D. And the most important reason for me to, to choose that camera was the price. It was a lot cheaper, easier for me to afford if I didn't get into the photography hobby. I wouldn't have wasted too much money and if I would love it then I had some extra money left to buy either extra accessories or another lens. I bought the 450D with the kit lens 18 to 55 millimeters, and because I didn't spend all my money on a more expensive camera, I did save some money to buy me a 55 to 250 millimeter lens. And with that, I had a great set just to learn the basics of photography. So, first piece of advice don't get the most expensive camera out there, don't get the best camera out there, just get one that you can afford that will do the job for you. Once you've learned the basics about photography or videography, 
you should have also learned what you do and what you do not like about it and more particularly what you do and do not like about your current camera by that time it's it might be time to look for a new camera and the first tip still applies stay within budget what can you afford and what do they have that you can afford that suits your needs in my case i had the canon 450d and it wasn't until 2014 about four years later when i bought a new camera which was the canon 70d one of the reasons i bought that camera is because of the more advanced settings i wanted to be able to set the iso not per step but per one third of a step there were a few other things that i was missing about the first camera that i that, that i really wanted in a new camera and the canon 70d offered all of that on top of that it also uh, allowed me to film with the camera which the 450d didn't do and the 70d was quite a new camera it was on the market for about half a year by the time that i bought it it had one of the new dual pixel sensors that allowed you to film and focus at the same time and so that's the camera that I that I used to learn to film with as well so for me that was a really really valuable upgrade I was also looking at a few other models which I didn't end up buying uh, the few models that I was looking at were the 5d mark 3 which was way too expensive for my needs I was also looking at uh, another full-frame camera which is the Canon 6d which was still quite a bit too expensive for what I liked and the 70D just did fit well within my budget had all the options that I wanted uh, it wasn't a full frame camera but I didn't need a full frame camera it got the job done it was a really really good camera and I think that's really important to look at when you want to buy a new camera look at your budget what can you afford and Look at the options you want on your new camera. What are you missing on your current camera? Why are you upgrading? And once you figure that out, you should be able to find your next camera. Once you've learned what you do and do not like about your first, second, third, fourth, I don't know, about your current camera and you want to upgrade to a new camera that has the features that you're missing on your current camera, don't be afraid to switch brands if you have to. You might be afraid to switch to another brand because you have all this Canon glass, Nikon glass, Sony glass, uh, whatever. If the camera body of another brand offers the features that you need at a price point that you can afford, go for it. There are all these adapters that allow you to use your current glass on the new camera. There is no reason to be afraid to, to switch to another camera. And if you need to replace all your glass, don't do it all at once, but take it slow. After using my Canon 70D for about four years, last summer, during the summer of 2018, I decided to buy a new camera. My Canon 70D was still a great camera. It, like I said, it had all the features that I wanted or nearly all of them because technology improved so a few things that I wanted for a new camera was a smaller body and the option to film in at least 60 maybe even 120 frames per second and 4k and because I had a Canon camera I was looking at some of the other Canon options that suit these criteria I was looking at the M5 and M50 but they didn't really have the options that I was looking for and the reviews weren't well they weren't negative but especially when comparing with reviews from other cameras felt felt a bit meh it's not that they weren't bad cameras but they didn't give me the feeling that it was a real improvement so eventually i was looking at the sony a6500 and the sony a7 mark iii and after following some some good advice after doing my own research i decided to go for the sony a7 mark iii and along with that camera I bought a Sigma MC11 adapter so I could still use my Canon glass on this Sony camera. Uh, someone in the family who is a photographer also did this very very recently and she is loving it. She went from a Canon 5D Mark III to the Sony A7 Mark III. She was actually looking at the 5D Mark IV but 
that was way too expensive for her so she went with the Sony and she is really really happy with it she can still use all her Canon glass with the adapter and for photography it is just great one of the problem problems that I had was that I also used my camera to film as you can see with this vlog and the problem with using Canon glass on a Sony camera with an adapter is that is no other focus during filming there is with photography but not in film so for filming I first bought just two simple primes a 50 mm 1.8 really cheap lens and when you buy it used even cheaper the 28 mm f2 also a really really nice lens not not expensive and when you buy it used even cheaper and in the meantime I've bought some more lenses I've bought a 16 to 35 mm also used so also saved some money on that only recently I bought the 24 to 240 mm mainly as a walk around lens a holiday lens and in order to buy that lens I sold my Canon 24 to 105 lens so if you take it slow or if you buy an adapter then there really isn't any reason to be afraid to switch to another brand so to summarize when you buy your first camera mainly look at your at your budget don't spend too much money on your first camera just make sure to get a nice camera that fits within your budget and that allows you to learn the basics of photography and or videography when you upgrade your camera still keep the first tip in mind watch your, mind your budget also very important uh, remember what you're missing on your first camera before buying a new camera and get the camera that has the features that you feel like you're missing on your current camera and if you are buying a new camera don't be afraid to switch brands because if a camera of another brand offers the exact features that you need at the exact price point point that you can afford while your current brand can't then don't worry just buy the camera of another brand get an adapter or switch out your lenses over time and you should be good that's it for this video I know I'm a bit late for the first video of 2019 I do plan to make more videos than I did last year I do have a lot of great ideas so I hope to be seeing you all soon in the next video. Mm -hmm.